Do we spend enough time in life looking beyond the everyday? You know, thinking about the big stuff. Caspar David Friedrich painted Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog around 1818. Of course, it's more than a landscape and more than the painting of a figure. It's a metaphor, right? We don't see a thoughtful face giving us clues as to what may be going on inside, but instead a man's back. He has walked to this spot with his hiking stick now held against his side. The wind is tasseling his red hair as he stares across the foggy and rugged landscape from the highest point of his journey. He is dressed like a gentleman, a clean shirt and well-cut coat with buttoned sleeves and good boots. But although he is the focal point of the painting, he is not alone in being its point. For he looks out over a broad scene, distant mountains even higher than the one he stands on, lower craggy peaks below the tree line, showing small trees for scale, and the high peak upon which he has now stopped, for at the moment he can go no further. And all encompassing is the atmosphere, the great swirling fog below, low clouds really that whip through the crags, scattering morning light. The sea of fog, as the title lets us know, not a sea, but the sea, not just a temporary inconvenience, but the usual story as we try to look ahead. And above, through the next layer of cloud, hints of blue sky and the yellows of the morning. I say morning for a few reasons. The rocks behind him are deep in shadow. The sunlit side is in the direction he is looking. The light is raking towards us from the right and the yellows caught both in the sky and in the fog suggests early to mid-morning. Practically, it would be safer to climb up in the very early morning and have full light for your descent rather than climb up in late afternoon and have to make your way down in the dark. The painting invites us to be contemplative. Because the man is facing directly away from us, we have exactly the same view as he does. We too partake of his scene. This style, called in German Rückenfigur, or figure seen from behind, allows the viewer to participate in the scene in the same way in which the figure does. It lends itself to a deeper contemplation of the scene as we see that others are also looking at it. The atmospherics of Wanderer are also matched in other paintings by Friedrich. What does it mean to have conquered the mountain? What does one see when the goal is achieved? Did he expect to survey his surroundings and had then had his purpose stymied by the sea of fog? Is the fog a metaphor for the future? No matter how much we feel we may have arrived, the future is always uncertain, with barely visible signposts emerging from the mist. When Friedrich painted Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog, he had his own thoughts in mind. We won't dwell on them too long because great art is more than a mere representation of what the artist thought. It has a life of its own, evoking our own deep thoughts. In one sense, tying our thoughts to the artist's period alone will limit the art's impact. I don't know if this is a dangerous idea, but my channel is more about the impact of the artwork itself. And great art, based on timeless principles and human yearnings, can properly be reinterpreted by each generation. However, in passing, we will note that the timing of the painting was just after the creation of the German Confederation in 1815. Friedrich has the figure wearing what were called Alt Deutsche, or Old German, clothes. Like some other art, he was making a political point. These clothes were banned in the new German Confederation the year after this painting was created. Maybe some official had seen the work and decided it was time for another rule to be put onto the books. Although a younger man when he painted Wanderer, he was yearning for the good old days, a time before the new German Confederation, the time in which he had grown up, now forever gone. This happens to us all at one level or another as we grow older. The past is a foreign country, they do things differently there. L.P. Hartley says in the opening line of his 1953 novel, The Go-Between. While the earlier portrait has given us an intense young man, this later portrait gives us someone more contemplative, a more world-weary and experienced man. Perhaps too, one who is more forgiving of those who think differently to him. 
In what seems to be a companion painting, but created almost 20 years later, and only a few years before his death, Friedrich gives us two figures contemplating the setting sun, the fog long gone. Maybe it was a recognition that we are not alone, even that the intensity of his youth may have been too much, and now these years later he has arrived at a more serene, rolling landscape. An older Friedrich, contemplating his life with more perspective now, but nevertheless the features of the future are still shrouded, this time in the failing evening light. So we have in our main painting the back of a contemplative man pondering what? At one deep level he is contemplating his own life. I say this because he is presented to us alone, not a grouping conspiring something, not a pair involved with each other, but one man attempting to grapple with change perhaps, and wondering about his place in the world to come, or even his place in nature, or even, as we might say today, our place in the universe. Long vistas of nature can make us feel small, or maybe it is better put that they give us perspective. Such moments take us away from the constant, you are the centre of the universe, thinking that we are encouraged to partake in via advertising, by political opportunists, through the musings of the commentariat and the seekers of fame. We have a solitary man who has simultaneously reached his goal and who now realises that the future is yet unclear. Coming after the hard slog of the climb, a momentary reward, a momentary view, is given from which still greater goals can now be almost seen. But the pathway to their glory remains shrouded, with many unknown obstacles lying between this moment and the next peak. And all too soon you may find yourself down in the fog of daily life again. Treasure the moment of revelation when you gain some perspective on your journey, and even then do not expect to see all the pathway from this point forward. It is enough to know that further peaks yet beckon. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.